Hi, I'm back. Video number four. Um, so I gave an assignment, I guess, last time. And I said, you know, something where it's like something you could play on an acoustic guitar. Something that, um, you know, follows a little little more of a song structure and less jammy. Uh, as a Fish fan, admittedly, my first introduction to Fish was through their albums. Like 1996-ish, Billy Breathes. Um, so I'm, I have a soft spot for albums. So I'm doing things a little different today, and I, I'm going to – I got – oh, I got a suggestion for the song Great American um, when I said something acoustic, whatever. Um, so they said Great American, and when I put it into YouTube, the first thing that came up was their album version. Um, so I'm going to do that. I have never listened to any record – like any album recording from Umphreys. Um, but I will say right now I'm on board. Wizard burial ground was intense, but I've been inc like told that is as hard as they go. And they went hard. And I listened to it again after I made the video, um, that jam section in the middle is really nice. Uh, it was all, it, it was really great. Um, Andy's last beer, really great. Uh, really front porch. Awesome. Whoppy Sprayberry grew on me. I get it. In a concert, I'm I'm into that for sure. Um, so here we go. They you know they've settled down. They've uh, <laughs> they they've they've rocked your faces off, and now they're gonna play Great American. You know, just as a little cool down. I think I think that's what we're looking at right now. I don't know. I'm gonna find out. All right. First off, looking at the album cover, I'll put it up. Are they in a pomegranate? It's called the bottom half. Um, onions. Onions have layers. Yeah, you know, so do parfaits. Everyone loves parfaits. All right, here we go. Without further ado, I'm going to hit play on Great American. I'm just going to listen to it straight through. It's 3 minutes, 11 seconds. And go. All right, yeah, this is definitely a departure from what I've listened to. And do they do this in concert? And are people happy about that? Let me know. Interesting. Is this whole album like this, or is this just kind of a like a like a change of pace thing? And there's no singing, I'm guessing. 59 seconds in, there can't be any singing. I wonder when this album was released. I'm gonna guess, judging by the album art, 2015 maybe based on nothing but onion butts okay Huh. Okay. Well, this is. I did. I did ask for the bathroom break song, and I think I might have got it. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Huh. I mean, I don't know what to say, guys. This is, uh...
I don't know what to say about that. That felt nice. But, I mean, first off, it's the, the album version of it. If they play it live, does it end up being 10 minutes long? Um, instrumental starts off, kind of gives me some Bella Fleck vibes for sure. Um, yeah, maybe that, maybe that's the best comparison I can give for it. Um, started off a little in La Josie Walesy. It's got, you know, a nice, a nice, um, acoustic, uh, progression, but like, yeah, I'm sure, man, this feels like album filler. Is it album filler for you guys? I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, I was told when I asked for the bathroom break song, they were like, maybe Great American. Okay, that can be the bathroom break song. You know what? Uh, since this one was so quick, I'm going to do another one right away here. Uh, I'm going to find something live. People were like, slacker, slacker, slacker. So I'm going to do slacker next. Look for that one. Um, but in the meantime, this hasn't killed uh, any... Um, hasn't killed any motivation I have to learn more. So, uh, Great American... I bet you guys feel the same way. All right, I will talk to you later. Um, have a good one. Bye.